Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Right now the time is approximately 12.54 p.m. Eastern Time, and the date is Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020. And yes, Boss the Kitten is stealing the show and stealing the scene, and I'm totally okay with that. I wanted to, first of all, I'm so happy to be able to do a video in the daytime because all this beautiful natural light. Not to mention the fact that it's, it's you know, I mean, I've, I'm long since known that I am a night person. I am definitely a night owl. I am very nocturnal. But I know that I've needed to adapt from time to time for daytime activities because sometimes people are doing things like sleeping at night, you know? You know, sometimes even I'm sleeping at night. But I digress. Anyway, so while you get to look at the gorgeous Boss the Kitten, I want to, uh, you know, I I've been saying for years that gratitude is daily. Um, you know, some of you who are new to my YouTube channel and have not been catching up on the videos that I've done in the last few months, you know, I've, I started to talk about the fact that I almost died three times last year in 2019. And for that alone, and for the fact that I have not been in a hospital overnight even once in 2020. 2020 is a far better year, COVID-19 notwithstanding, than 2019. Because if I were to take into account all the hospitalizations in 2019, we're looking at a seven to eight month period altogether. So I have not been in a hospital overnight once in 2020. That alone, 2020 is a far better year for me than 2019. You look so cute, so cute, 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 cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. And people don't love black cats. I mean, there are people that don't love black cats, but I adore them. It's, so cute. it's sickening how cute she is, but in a juicy, good way. So cute. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I really felt this strong desire and this strong need to do a humongous thank you video. Which is one of the reasons I'm wearing this beautiful, um, you know, I'm not sure what color green this is. It's not emerald green, because when I look at it, I don't think of an emerald. Um, and I, I've been in the presence of genuine emeralds, and this is not quite the green. I want to say this is like a Kelly green, because it has that Irish look to it. So I'm going to say this is a Kelly green. And it's funny, I, I, I love old navy clothes. I can no longer fit in the pants, but um, I can fit into the shirts. And this is one of my personal favorite shirts. Oh, you look so beautiful, boss. I love you. Oh, so cute, so cute, cute, cute. All right. <clears throat> so first and foremost, I want to give a humongous thank you to every one of you out there in YouTube land. I want to thank you for all the likes. I want to thank you for all the beautiful comments. I want to thank you for all the shares. Um, and I, I don't, unfortunately, I don't know um, how, YouTube does not have a thing that measures or that t keeps track of like who's shared to what, right? They don't do that. Okay, I'm, I'm double checking with my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos, also known as Drake. Um, <clears throat> so I really don't know um, who has shared which of my videos to which social media um, platform, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it's YouTube, what have you. Um, but I am immensely thankful for all the shares and, of course, to those of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And absolutely a huge, huge thank you to so many people. I mean, off the top of my head, um, I definitely want to thank the co-owners of Catland Books, more commonly known as Catland, past and present, for giving me the opportunity and the honor and the pleasure of being one of the in-store readers. Although, um, and just a quick FYI, right now Catland continues to uh, not offer in-person readings in the store. Um, it is one of the many ways that the staff and the owners of, of Catland Books are preventing the spread of COVID-19. Um, and last time I checked, the maximum number of uh, 
people in the store, customer-wise, is still free. Um, and they're still open noon to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And of course, I want to thank the staff and the owners of Catland um, for stopping the spread of COVID-19 and for doing so much and even making personal sacrifices so that they can do their part to stop the spread of COVID-19. I absolutely want to thank Cheryl, the living goddess who owns Notions and Potions, for giving me the honor and pleasure of being one of the in-store readers in the store. I want to thank her for having so much trust and faith in me and for giving me the opportunity to offer in-person readings and phone readings and video readings and email readings when I'm in the store giving in-person readings. I absolutely want to thank um, a wonderful person who holds many, who holds many, many titles, um, for client, student, friend, soul sister, and metaphysical agent, for um, introducing me to Cheryl at Notions and Potions and, in, and helping me connect with, um, uh, oh my goddess, I can't believe I forgot her name. I think it's Kim, who is um, the, the divine creatrix uh, and organizer of the uh, full moon magical markets. Uh, for giving me the opportunity to be a part of the beyond portion of uh, witches from Hudson Valley and beyond. Hudson Valley, New York, of course. I absolutely want to thank the amazing owners and staff of the Pandorica Restaurant, The Vault, Brothers Trattoria, um, uh, BJ Soul Food, of course, Homespun Foods, Bank Square Coffee House, um, and every other place that I dine or snack or eat uh, when I am visiting Beacon. Uh, and more recently, Myers Old Dutch. Um, although I haven't had, uh, there was, I've only been to Myers Old Dutch twice. Um, Myers Old Dutch it specializes in simple food that's good and juicy and messy and savory and delicious. Um, and there are some foods that I just don't feel comfortable eating in the store because, um, you know, they, they're very aromatic and they smell really good, but, you know, not kind of like, not, not like a round of the people good, but still. Um, but I, I love Myers Old Dutch as well. Um, and I definitely, absolutely want to thank Beacon New York for, um, for coming to uh, the Pandorica restaurant and... Uh, the Vault, and Brothers Trattoria, and um, BJ Soul Food Restaurant, and all the other places that I love to dine in and take out and all that other stuff. And of course, I absolutely want to thank every person who has made a donation to the Pandorica Restaurant's GoFundMe page in exchange for either a three-question reading from yours truly, or a six-question reading from yours truly. I absolutely want to thank all the individuals who have had readings with me via Catland Books, via Notions and Potions, and the people that have had readings with me directly, uh, which is a lovely change of pace because, you know, I'm so accustomed to having somebody contact me for a reading following the uh, fees offered by Catland Books or notions and potions that I forget that people have come to me to have a reading with me directly which means I get to charge what I normally charge for readings which is really wonderful because then it's like oh that bill gets paid too yes um, I absolutely want to thank all of the amazing goddesses and gods and guardian angels and spirit guides and ancestors who walk with me um, as I have yet another opportunity to walk on planet Earth um, virtually every day. I want to thank um, my divine consort for being a life partner, a friend, a beloved. I want to thank all of those people who I love and adore, including but not limited to the Michelle Swan Graham, Swan of Dreamers on YouTube, who brings me so much joy and so much delight and so much fun and so much upliftment. I love that term. I've, I've come to use the term up, upliftment more often. Um, I want to thank 
um, Sarah Faith Gottsdiner, Gottis, on, on uh, Instagram for creating the Many Moons Lunar Planners and for all of her other contributions to so many different causes and so many different people and so many different um, wonderful people with whom she collaborates on a regular basis. I absolutely want to thank um, Llewellyn Publications and U.S. Game Systems and Blue Angel Publishing and Los Carabeo and Inner Traditions for all of the wonderful books and tarot decks and oracle card decks that bring me and my clients and my students and my friends so much joy, so much clarity, so much illumination, so much understanding, so much courage for that next step forward. I want to thank specifically my personal goddess Oset, the ancient Egyptian goddess more commonly known as Isis, and my divine father Pan, um, as well as Oshun and Shango, as well as Anpu, more commonly known as, known as Anubis, and of course Bastet, and um, all the wonderful people, all the wonderful, um, excuse me, going to the next one, all the wonderful goddesses and gods and celestial beings who bring me so much prosperity and so much comfort and so much peace and so much healing. I absolutely want to thank the priestess of Grove Argentum, which is a Manhattan-based chapter of the International Fellowship of the Goddess Isis, for her intelligence, for her wisdom, for her magic, for her generosity, which is absolutely goddess-graced. Um, I absolutely want to thank, um, I mean, I could go on and on and on and on and on, and my intention was to keep this video for under 10 minutes, but I know it's been over 10 minutes. Even without a timer, I know it's been over 10 minutes. And the fact of the matter is that this is why, if you invite me to Thanksgiving, you do not want me saying what, you don't want to ask me, what are you thankful for, Robin? Because it's going to be a very long answer. As you've just witnessed. So, and believe me, I, I do this every day. I may not always, I, I actually, no, 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 that's not true. I do say thank you to at least three people every day. Um, you know, most of the time it's my divine, my divine consort life partner. Um, sometimes it's somebody else, but uh, thank you is a, a, a constant in my vocabulary. And I, I have very, and I will admit I have very strong opinions about gratitude. I truly believe that um, too many people limit gratitude or the expression of gratitude in November, and I find that to be ridiculous. You know, I, I remember when I first began reading Catherine Ponder's Prosperity books, in one of them, and I, I want to say it's the Dynamic Laws of Prosperity, but in one of those prosperity books she wrote that there are only two countries that celebrate Thanksgiving, um, the United States and Canada. Now, I find that a little difficult to believe, um, but I know that there are some countries that don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but I didn't realize that there are only two countries that celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, and I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure. What I will say is that for me, gratitude must be daily. If I wake up in the morning and if I draw breath, then I must express gratitude a minimum of three times in that day. So between the moment I wake up and draw breath and the moment I go to sleep at night, I must, no matter what, no excuses, nothing, I must express gratitude <clears throat> at least three times in that day. And that's, that's what works for me. That's what, that's what I need. That's what others deserve. And of course, now I absolutely must thank the amazing um, care that I received from so many doctors and so many nurses and so many nurses assistants and so many specialists, medical specialists in 2019 so that I can still be alive today and still be walking around on planet Earth in 2020. And um, not that I've done a lot of walking around in 2020, but you know, that's, that's got to change because you know. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, although I am fond of, of not being, a, I am fond of, that I can say that I am not a starving psychic, but I, I think that I need to, you know, do a little bit more walking. But I digress. So YouTube, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for honoring who I am and what I do. Thank you for all the likes, for all the shares, for all the comments, uh, for all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel. And of course, thank you to all of you who have been scheduling your sessions. I am so thrilled that I conducted and offered um, so many um, phone and video readings last week. It really made me happy. And um, it really gave me a lot of hope for 2021. Um, you know, uh, I've had a lot of things in the works since this past July and August that I'm going to begin offering, um, or and, and some things that I'm no longer going to offer as of as of um, the date of the vernal equinox next year in 2021. And I've really thought about these things a lot. I would even say that I've been thinking about them too much, but I want to make sure that they're crystal clear in my mind. What I'm going to begin offering, what I'm going to continue offering, what I'm no longer going to offer, um, and I really feel good about these decisions. I really feel good about these changes, and these are absolutely necessary changes because if nothing else, 2020 taught me Actually, 2020 reminded me and taught me and re-taught me and re-reminded me what works, what no longer works, and what needs to happen going forward in my life, in my professional psychic practice, in my world, etc. But for now, I wish all of you peaceful and prosperous blessings all of, for all of you and yours. And I wish all of you and yours the happiest of holidays. And may the great goddess bless all of you and yours every day with love and light, prosperity and peace. And stay tuned. You're hissing. Why are you hissing, Isis? I love you. Your love that I adore. Shh, shh, shh. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, my God. And stay tuned for the next video. And good day.